Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Today it's just going to be a really quick update on some of the gear that I use on this channel and I have some exciting news and some very frustrating news involving this camera, the ASI 2600 Mono. Okay, so we'll start with the frustrating news. Um, as you would have seen in a video that I posted a few weeks ago, I had the silicon grease leak onto the camera. Now I emailed ZWO and they told me that I needed to open up the camera and clean it. I did that, it was working well. Um, I used it for about six or seven nights, full, full nights of photography without any issues at all. I captured over 20 hours of data on the giant squid and the flying bat nebula. Um, I'm halfway through capturing some data on the California nebula. So in total, I've probably captured about 40, maybe 50 hours worth of data with this camera since cleaning it. And it was absolutely perfect. After each session, I had taken the camera off the telescope just to double check that there weren't any issues. Last night, I took the camera off and I see that the leak has returned, which is very frustrating. So the moment is just right at the top of the sensor. Um, I will try and show you. I'll show you a close up of it. So it's just at the top of the sensor at the moment. So it's not actually covering much of my image, um, but it is leaking and getting progressively worse. So incredibly frustrated that this has happened again. In the contact I had with ZWA previously, they said once I cleaned it, it will not return. Now that obviously hasn't happened. I have since contacted ZWA, um, so I've sent them two emails. I've um, also submitted a form on their website under the support um, tab that they have. And I haven't heard anything back. So I have asked them if they can replace it because this camera is, is under warranty. Um, having this leak over and over again is going to be incredibly frustrating, um, especially with the limited amount of clear skies that we have here in the UK. Um, so I haven't heard anything back. It's been nearly two weeks. So ZWO, I'm sure you don't watch these videos, but if you do, please get back to me. I would really appreciate that. Um, I have a feeling that they are just going to tell me I need to clean it again, um, which again, I'm not overly happy with. Um, but if they tell me that, I guess that's what I have to do. I have to buy another cleaning kit and open up the camera and give it another clean. But ZWO, please respond to my email. I would really appreciate that. Um, so the second bit of news, I have some new kit which I wanted to show you, which is set up over there. So I just have to get up and turn the camera around. Okay, so this is the exciting news. I have purchased a new mount. So I have wanted a second mount for quite some time now. I have two telescopes, I have two cameras, but I only have one mount. So my goal is to try and get both mounts set up and collecting data at the same time. So the mount I've purchased is the Ioptron CEM60. Now I've actually had the, uh, the top or the, the head of the mount, the actual equatorial mount itself, um, for quite some time, for a couple of months now. Um, but it's been sat in the garage, not being used because I had to wait for a stand or a pier. So this is the Ioptron Tri-Pier and it looks pretty cool, um, but I couldn't find that in stock anywhere. But I eventually have, um, have found one. Um, as you can see, it's got the, uh, the built-in vibration reduction pads on the actual mount itself um, and quite a thick pier which can uh, can go up and down and adjustable height so quite excited to give this a go now i actually picked this up from rother valley optics and it was an x display model that they had in uh, in clearance so i got quite a good deal on the top just the the actual mount itself um, this mount has been replaced by the Ioptron CEM70, I believe. 
Um, so they don't actually make this anymore. It's been discontinued. Um, so yeah, I did get a really good deal. So thank you very much to the guys at Ruffler Valley Optics for, for hooking me up with this. Um, but I haven't used it yet. I'm really excited to use it. This has a higher payload capacity to my current mount, the NEQ6 Pro. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to go for longer exposures, especially when I use the heavy Skywatcher 190 Max Atoff Newtonian. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of exciting kit that I've got to show you. Hopefully it's not too hard to, to get my head around using. It's a slightly different design. It's got that Z-shaped design compared to um, my Skywatcher mount. Um, but I've watched a few tutorials online, so I should be able to, to get going. Now the mount itself is in really good condition, as you would expect. It's been looked after by the guys at Rother Valley Optics. There's a few scratches. I don't know whether you can even pick this up few scratches on the the old as adjustments as you would expect and the the saddle um, but apart from that it's in pretty good condition there's a little bit of a few marks on the the mount itself um, but one cool thing about this is that it actually has quite a few ports built in on this mount um, so the wiring should be quite good so you've got some some Ethernet ports here, got some USB ports here and some power ports as well. So I should be able to power all of my cameras, um, my ASI Air Pro, um, etc., from these these two ports, which is quite cool. So I won't have to have any wires dangling down from the back of my telescope or from the ASI Air Pro to uh, to a plug or a plug socket. So yeah, really excited to to. Uh, to use this, it comes with quite a cool uh, carry case, which you can see over here. Um, but yeah, in the next few videos, keep an eye out. Hopefully I will have a first light video fairly soon. So those are the updates that I had for you guys. Um, one very frustrating update with the ASI 2600 with the second oil leak. Um, one kind of saving grace on that is that the weather has been absolutely horrendous. We've had storms, we've had snow, um, we've had really bad winds. In fact, the fence in the garden actually blew down. So probably haven't missed a huge amount of clear skies with this issue, um, but still incredibly frustrating that I've had that leak again. And the second is the addition of the new mount, which I'm really excited to use. So if any of you have got tips about the um, CEM60, if any of you use it out there, um, please do let me know. Um, hopefully I can get it set up and hopefully I'll have some images to show you fairly soon. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button um, and I will see you in the next video next week. Cheers.